so Tommy obviously facing us being 2-0 down and, and coming back to win 4-2, that's, that's got to be really pleasing, hasn't it? Yeah, we're delighted with the result. I think not just me, but the lads individually and collectively weren't very happy with their, their first half show. And I thought it was one of them nights where, listen, we've played on occasions here this season some really good football, home and away, you know, and, and everybody's been on it or the vast majority have been on it in terms of their passing and their movement. Tonight it was one of the games, you've got to give them credit, you know, they've jumped out and pressed really well um, and we were missing a couple of players who've played a lot of games recently in a team that have controlled most of the games we've played. So this was probably the first one for a while where the ball was transitioning a lot between the two teams. Got to give them credit, like I said, I wasn't particularly happy with our defending. Um, for their goals, but they'll say the same about ours. Um, but to go 2 nil down and stay calm, stay relaxed as a group, both the bench and the, and, the, and the lads on the pitch, they deserve massive credit. You know, I've just been told there it's 16 years since Aldershot come back from a two-goal deficit, so that's a hell of a feather in that cap. That's it, isn't it? Obviously, Saturday's game was another comeback. Well, three points from defeat. So, you know, is that something that you've got to be really chuffed with the group having having that character within them? Yep, it's definitely a, a tick box that one. But I'd rather not be conceding before we scored. Is the, is the answer? So that's two weeks. or oh, sorry, two games in a row here that we've uh, we've managed to do that. Once from one nil and once from two. But it's not a habit I want to I wanted them to repeat. Um, but I've, I've said it to you all along. I, I you know I was. I genuinely believe this group of players will score goals. Uh, the teams that I've been in charge of all the way since I've managed, I've always tried to play on the front foot, tried to play attacking football, and we've got a group of players who do that, but you've got to have trade off with that, and some of them aren't brilliant when they haven't got the ball. I mean, I, I know that, they probably know that, and some teams have exposed that, uh, some teams haven't. Let's hope we find more of the ones that can't do it than the ones who can. And as well, obviously, Josh Stokes and Theo Widrington missing today. Yeah. Is, is, is that good credit to as well to the lads that have come in and, and, and just done their job? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I thought, I said it on Saturday, it's not just about the 11 lads who start the game. And I don't class my lads who are on the bench as substitutes per se, I class them as finishers. They start the game and they finish the game, and that's two games in a row and beyond where everybody who's coming off the bench is having a positive impact on the game. And that's really, really positive for me. Obviously, Theo and Josh have been part of the team who've been on a really good run for about seven or eight games. Um, but for different reasons, they weren't available to me this evening. Um, so I knew about that a long time ago, but it's, it's, that's, that's in-house. Um, but nobody's got to worry, he'll be back on Saturday. Obviously, you know, it is a, it's one of those again where it's going to be three games in a week. Now we go to Dorking on Saturday, you know, not the longest journey, mm. but it's still an away trip. So yeah. it, how, well, oh, it's, it's way too soon to say, isn't it? But are the lads in, in good nick? No, no knocks or anything? Well, I'm sure they'll be in good place mentally. You know, they're, they're, I know we're in a good place physically en masse because to be fair to Hugo, as weird as he is, he's very, very good at, at, at managing that, managing the load of the lads and Brad. Liam all have their input and I don't have a lot to do with that. All I all I want to know is when they're ready for me to, to use on the training ground. So, yeah, I think we're in a good place. Um, it'll be a new place for me to visit. I've never been to Dorking, even to watch a game. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, we just want to try and keep going, keep doing what we're doing. It's, it's, it's really good for a, a group of players to know, even though they haven't played as well as they can play, they've come away with three points. It's a huge positive.